Yeah, it's been a hot minute since I've created a video. So this video has absolutely no script. And today I wanna to talk about cybersecurity in college and just some brief thoughts uh, and what to consider when you're talking about college and cybersecurity and, and how they relate together. I haven't uploaded a video in a little while and we'll briefly address that in a moment. First, I want to talk about my current thoughts on cybersecurity in college. So let's go ahead and rewind back a little bit. Okay, so go back to March 2020 and the coronavirus was just surfacing in all the news. And all of my classes had turned to virtual online learning in the latter half of the spring semester. It was a complete mess. Okay, now go move forward a little bit and move to September 2020 and I'm back in my university learning. But this time the coronavirus safety protocols are all implemented throughout the university, meaning that there are virtual online learning options via Zoom that we can zoom into for online virtual learning within the first couple of weeks of school starting all are well majority of my classes turned to online virtual learning so here i am stuck in my apartment most days mm. so with virtually all of my classes right now being online it's given me an open perspective in terms of seeing the perceived value of a college degree in the current curriculum i'm under and the work that I have been doing. Now, I know a lot of people, when it comes to considering cybersecurity or IT in general, like to consider a college degree, more specifically an undergraduate or bachelor's in some sort of area related to IT. This is definitely an option to consider. And in fact, I really do encourage that you take a look at it depending on what stage of an area you are at in your life. But one of the core lessons and something that I actually have talked about this before regarding good grades and the perceived value of a college degree uh, and why it's losing value. One of the real lessons that I've learned is the ability to practically apply your knowledge in cybersecurity, something that a lot of universities I feel like lack in. Okay, well, it depends on the university you are currently attending and the curriculum you're currently under. I'm not saying all universities are bad. I'm just saying that there are a lot of formal academic institutions which do lack in relevancy of information and more specifically, hands-on practical learning. Now, whether you want to call it practical application or you want to call it labs, whatever it is, I see more often than not a lot of institutions and universities, these formal academic institutions, they don't do a good job of actually actually showing you how to practically apply your knowledge in cybersecurity. There's a lot of theory talk. They address the theory behind why things work or what happened or the history behind or whatever it is. And I'm not saying that that doesn't have value, but I think as a perceived cybersecurity professional, when you leave a college institution with a degree, you want to have some hands-on practical knowledge. That's what companies are looking for. They're not looking for you to recite the history of computer science, for instance. They're looking for you to be practical and actually apply your skills and knowledge so that you can be a valuable member and employee or teammate for their company. I look at this way of virtual learning and a lot of my time has been spent on working more so on the practical side of cybersecurity. Now, the reason even why I bring this up and there's no, there's no script for this video. Keep an eye open on the holistic approach when it comes to getting any career in cybersecurity. There isn't one guaranteed path. One, there's no guaranteed course or curriculum or way of getting into cybersecurity. The important piece is that you put yourself in the position of always learning and always practically applying your knowledge. Okay, so let me go ahead and quickly provide an example of what I mean by practically applying your knowledge in cybersecurity regarding classes. Right now, I am taking a course titled CY320 Info Security in Sysadmin. And within this course, we are primarily learning access control methods implemented through this book. So basically, we're following this textbook throughout the entire course. Now, there has been some useful information within this course. Instead of looking at long statements of breaking down access control statements into various amounts of equations and numbers and lettering, what I've wanted to discover is how you can actually apply access control in an enterprise or corporate environment. So in this case, what I do is I go to Google and I look up access control programs in which I can use to learn how access control is implemented. Now, there are many different types of access control and there are different programs, but ultimately what I'm trying to do here is not necessarily 
necessarily master one particular program set, it's more a matter about how access control actually is implemented in an enterprise environment. Now, like I said, again, it doesn't mean that we can't use these equations and there's foundational elements within this textbook that you can learn, but I want to learn where this is actually applied in the enterprise environment. And so through the power of Google, I tried to look at the different areas of access control and develop a small project or learning plan from there. That is the important idea to keep in mind. Now, if you are looking for some resources for some practical hands-on projects, I've created a resource this past summer with some project ideas. I'll leave the link right here on the screen, or you can look at it in the description below. Take a look at those ideas and maybe you can start to create your own project ideas from those or just use them. The last piece I will address here is where the heck have I been in these last couple of months? I've been pretty quiet on this YouTube page and I haven't been doing much in terms of being online. Well, I've been working on a, uh, an introductory cybersecurity course, which is almost complete. Uh, unfortunately, I had uh, dealt with some medical issues, including being allergic to red meat from a chigger. So that's something that's really fun. It paused my process of getting my course out on the intended date, as well as college. So I'm almost done with this course, or I am done with this course, and I'm going to be launching this pretty soon. I'm very excited uh, to launch it and to just put it out there uh, as something for anyone to follow if they want to. I'm really excited to start launching into the next uh, wave of content. I have some really fun project ideas that are coming up. But anyway, I'll be on this channel very soon. I'll be launching this course very soon with a lot more information. So keep tuned for that. And until the next time, have a good day. And yeah.